Good morning, friends, or good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Mrs. G here. Man, I've missed you guys. Before I even start, I just want to say I miss your smiles, and I miss your hugs, and I miss your laughter, and I miss seeing all of your faces in the hallway, and man, this is hard. It's hard not to have your routine and to see all your friends and the teachers you love. But I just want to tell you, before I even start talking today, that we are going to get through this. I actually have a friend you might remember from when me and Mrs. Obram came to your classrooms. Anyone remember this guy? You remember him, right? When we came and we talked about the jobs that counselors do, one of the things that we love to do for you is to tell you, just like Dory told Nemo, when things are hard, when we get down, when we wanna give up, when we don't wanna try, when we feel frustrated, we need to just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So if you need a reminder today, oh, you don't want to do that homework your teacher posted. Just keep swimming. One step at a time. Just do the next kind thing. Do the next thing on your list, but don't quit swimming. So that's my first reminder. Secondly, some of you may have signed up for Kindness Club, right? Well, we're not at school to have a Kindness Club. So I thought I would bring Kindness Club to you. Well, if you didn't get your permission slip in for Kindness Club, you're in luck because everybody gets to be in Kindness Club now. That's how I like it anyways. I am sitting on a bouncy ball right now. So um, if, I, if I'm bouncing, it's because I'm sitting on a ball. I'm here in my home bedroom office right now. That's where you can find me. This is my fish, um, Bella, in the background. She's a beta fish, she, she's very small. So talking about kindness club, when we think about kindness, a lot of times we think about how we are kind to other people, right? How can I be kind to my neighbor? How can I be kind to my parent? How can I be kind to my grandmother? How can I be kind to my friend or sibling? But to forget the importance of being kind to our own self. So today we are going to start with how we can be kind to ourselves. The first way you can be kind to yourself is by doing something very small, very easy. And that is just sliding open the window, feeling that fresh air on your face, ah, taking a nice deep breath of that fresh air and listening. You can hear birds out there. I heard a dog bark. Just take a minute and listen, go outside. Scientists actually have done some research on this and our brain changes within five minutes of being outside. We're just listening. Five minutes of fresh air and listening changes our brain. So if you're inside, you don't like how you're feeling, you don't like what you're doing, take a quick five minute break. Open the window and get some fresh air and listen. Just pay attention. That's what's great about nature, you guys, is it doesn't demand anything of us. We might feel frustrated that our parents tell us what to do and our teacher tells us what to do, but guess what? Nature just says, hang out with me. Just enjoy me. Even better than just opening your window. Step outside. Go for a 15 minute walk. Get outside your front door. Sit on your step for a minute and see what you can hear. See what you can smell. See how the sun feels on your face or the breeze. That's the first way you can be kind to yourself. Just by taking a deep breath, and I think the best place to take a deep breath is by a window or outside. You can change your brain for the better by just getting outside. And it's a proven fact. So if you don't like how you're feeling, don't stay where you're at. Get outside, breathe in some fresh air, take a nice deep breath and watch how that changes your outlook. Number two, it's a hug. It's a hug. That's easy, right? So when we think about hugs, we're like, oh, this is cheap. I'm not really supposed to touch right now, right? No, we can't hug like strangers. You can't, I mean, you probably shouldn't like be hugging on your friend. Think of who's available to you right now. It's yourself. We can hug ourselves. Actually, there's benefits to hugging yourself because you're saying you're valued and you're loved and you're special. Hug yourself, it feels really good. Research again has proven that a 20 second hug actually does something to the oxytocin, the feel good, right? In our brain, it boosts our immune system. 
that's something that we all could use right now, right? So that keeps us healthy, right? Kind of fights off the sick bugs, boosts our immune system, boosts our self-esteem. We feel better about ourselves, boosts our self-confidence. We're worthy of being loved. Something loves us back and we love this thing. You can hug a friend or a sibling. There's a lot of things you can hug. Maybe you want to hug a chicken. Oh, she likes my hugs, doesn't she? Hmm. What else could I hug? Hmm. This is Chippy. I need to snuggle Chippy. I'm gonna wash my hands when I'm done, but I'm snuggling Chippy. We can totally get good hugs from our pets and animals. He's just a baby. <laughs> He's a teddy bear hamster. You could snuggle a hamster. I can also hug my crazy dog, right? Toby, come here, let me hug you. Let me hug you, Toby. Oh, thank you, thank you. Maybe you don't have animals and that's perfectly fine because I bet you have some of these. You probably have a favorite stuffed animal or something super snuggly. Guess what? If you don't have a human available to hug, if you don't have an animal available to hug, you can totally hug. 20 seconds, squeeze one of your favorite stuffed animal friends. That works good too. Or maybe you have a different comfort object that's not like a stuffed animal. This guy's so cute. Maybe you have a favorite blanket that's super soft and snuggly. Squeeze that blanket, 20 seconds. Squeeze it tight and you're gonna feel better. Hugs are powerful, I'm telling you people. It's not just cause I'm a hugger and I love to hug. So number two. There's hugs. Okay guys, and number three, last one. If you're feeling a little bit blah, if you're feeling a little bit down, sometimes when I feel a little sorry for myself, like, oh, I miss school, I miss my friends. You feel lonely, you feel stuck, right, and sad. Well, do we have to stay stuck and sad? No, the number one thing to do to get your mind off yourself is to put your mind on somebody else. This is it, number three is go do something for someone. Go do something for someone. Ask your mom, hey, what can I help you with right now? Mm, parents love that. Ask your grandma, can I do anything for you? Surprise somebody with your kindness. Make a card. Maybe there's a neighbor. You don't have to deliver it to them. Sneak it to them. Put it on their door. Put it in their mailbox. Draw a beautiful picture for someone. Mail a letter to somebody. Surprise somebody with your kindness. That is the number one way to get out of a sad mind is to just go do something kind for somebody else. If you're kind of moping around and not feeling awesome, ask yourself, what can I do for somebody else? Somebody in your family, maybe it's a pet, maybe it's a relative, maybe it's the earth, right? You could go plant a flower, color a beautiful piece of art for other people to enjoy, give someone a smile play somebody a song. You guys have each a unique way that you can make somebody's day. Nobody else can, you can. A great way to um, be kind to yourself is by being kind to others. So there you have it. Kindness Club challenge for the week. Three things. One, get in nature. Take a deep breath of fresh air, right? Go for a walk. Five minutes in the outdoors in nature changes our brain for the better. Number two, hug it out. Hug it out, hug it out. Give somebody a hug, give something a hug. Snuggle up with something. Helps our immune system, helps our brain, helps us be happy and confident and feel loved. Go hug, appropriately, obviously. We're not supposed to do a lot of touching to people outside of our family right now, but there's a lot of things available for you to hug. But three is serve. Go do something for someone else. Surprise somebody with your kindness. Someone in your family, parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle. All right, friends. That's all I have for you today. Um, I'm glad you got to meet some of my favorite things to hug in my house. Um, I'm gonna come back and maybe I'll read a book with you. Um, I'm gonna come back for sure next week and share week two kindness challenge. This week, really, really, I want you to focus on being kind to yourself, okay? But more than anything, friends, I want you to know that you're so missed by your teachers and your counselors and you're so loved and you are so special to us. Wherever you are, wherever, um, your mind is right now. However you're feeling, know that you're seen and you're heard and you're special. And we love you and we miss you. And you 
can change the world with your unique kindness, all right? So this week, focus on kind to you. How can I be kind to myself? And that's getting your brain in the fresh air, giving some hugs, and doing things for others. Thank you, friends. Mrs. G loves you. Have a great day. Thank you.